that is somebody. Look at this press conference is on TV. Jack, did you just talk about the atmosphere and playing in building for the first time? You know what? It was great. It was, uh, you know, first time, obviously, we've been here uh, besides the practice, but the crowd was into it. It was a great game. We had a couple good chances early, just couldn't get that first one to get them into it. Um, but it was exciting for our guys. How about the whole experience over the course of the last few days? Well, we, you know what? It's, I think it started when we came for our first practice. You know, I, I, I think that uh, this isn't about, you know, me or the team or, you know, our ownership, Charles tried to do something um, in the area that couldn't get done. And I, I think I mentioned that before with the avenues and worked it out here and he kept the team in New York, so it's great. And uh, we're excited about it. Um, but for our guys to come for that first practice and then leading up to this game, knowing that we were going to be sold out and, and have a great crowd, it was, you know, like I said, it was a great atmosphere for us. Too bad we just couldn't get the one here tonight. This morning you talked about that you didn't want, you didn't think this game was going to be a distraction for your team. Now that it's over, are you glad it's over with? That all the discussion about the game and playing the Brooklyn? No, I mean, not really. I mean, I, I don't think it was, you know, it's going to be a distraction. Though. It was going to be a distraction for our team because I know the focus that we have, the way we ended last year, moving forward. Um, it's just it took a while, you know, to hear the announcement and have the press conference and, and, and get to the Barclays Center. But uh, you know, it's um, when the time comes, we'll be excited to be here. Were there moments in this game where it felt different than a regular preseason game might be for you? Or, uh, was was there, were there anything anything that happened? Just the crowd, you know, and then uh, I don't think, we, you know, preseason you don't see a crowd like that, you know, the music, the atmosphere, I mean, it was uh, when the guys came on the ice, you could tell, and uh, it had that feeling, just like we ended off uh, at the Coliseum last year against Pittsburgh, so, like I said, it was uh, everything we expected coming in, first class, and, um, you know, just... Hopefully people enjoyed the game and haven't seen the game here. Uh, everybody got a chance to come into the building. It's a great, it's a great venue. For guys that have been on the team when there hasn't been a, a whole lot of media coverage, an event like this and the Yankee Stadium game, what does that mean for those guys? Well, they're excited for sure. I mean, a game like this, again, it's a um, beautiful venue. No one knew where this team was going when the lease was up in 2015. And now we know. So as far as Yankee Stadium goes, I mean, every kid's played outdoors, um, you know, growing up. So especially being, you know, in the new stadium, it's going to be exciting. Cold weather, you know, growing up playing as a, as a young boy. I mean, these guys all have done it. So I'm sure when the time comes, um, it'll be something special for them. It's hard to evaluate power play. I assume you don't always have the, the guys you might have there on open. There's no question. I mean, you know, we gave up two power play goals. I know, you know, we just got out of the box on the, on the face off, but um, there's some things that we need to work on special teams for sure. It's something that we've, we've talked about. Um, you know, we've hit on it. Next week will be a real big week for us as far as, you know, um, hitting a little bit more stride on, on some of those areas. But uh, for me, as we move forward with these ex with these preseason games, it's, it was still in evaluation mode. There's still jobs to be won, and you know you can break it down any way that you're happy with the way some guys played at this point, with some guys played. But um, there's certain guys that we talk about they have to elevate their battle level if they want to be in the lineup on a consistent basis. Did you get any sense that some of the guys were maybe over anxious, just given the atmosphere and then wanting to put on a good show for the fans tonight? No, I, I don't think so. I mean. We had a great atmosphere in the Coliseum last year. There's, there's, there's no excuses what you can control and what you can't control. And that's what I've always told the guys. What you can control is your work ethic and your battle level. And some guys just, you know, they have to understand that, you know, they, uh, they're they going to have to raise it if they want to be in a lineup consistent. Who had that battle level for you? Would you say Oposo had it? Would you say Neil? No, I'm not going to pick out individuals or names right now. Um, I'm not one that really does that, but... Um, there are some guys that uh, I thought played well. I young kids that played well, and they've worked extremely hard. Um, and some of the other guys that think it's going to be easier and for a real weekend. You've used Griffin in a few 
few of these games yeah. now. Has he, has he earned that spot? That he's earned it. He's played well. He's, uh, again, you, you talk about players for me that not only improve on the ice year to year, but the ways off ice conditioning was. His test results were off the charts coming back from last year, and that correlates um, with his play on the ice. And he's going to get every opportunity for me uh, to put him in those situations to see what he can do. And if, at the end of the day, anybody that can help us win or reach our goals will, will stick with us. But I'm very pleased with the way he's played up until this point. Is it nice to have those nine games if it gets to that point where you, he can kind of try out and, you know, his first year of his contract doesn't weigh in? Yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, I think that Garth will spend evaluating, obviously, a general manager. And when the time comes that over the next week, then, you know, you got tough decisions to make. But like you said, if you got a guy that's that close, you know, it wouldn't hurt to, to give guys some games to see if you can stick with your club. Okay.